Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this lesson about what type of cells exist today. All living things like animals, plants, and people are made up of tiny units called cells. As you can see, our organs are made of tissues, and tissues are made of cells. All cells have four basic parts. Cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the ribosomes, and genetic material like DNA. Prokaryotic cells are single-celled or unicellular, which means that the organism is made of only one cell like the ones above. These cells are very simple and very small. These cells range in size from some microns to even one-tenth of a micron. One micron is 1,000 times smaller than a millimeter. These cells have few structures, but they lack of a nuclear region. Which cells are prokaryotic? Well, bacteria and archaea are prokaryotic because they don't have a nuclear region where the DNA is enclosed. As you can see on my right, these cells have all the basic parts like a cell wall, a cell membrane, cytoplasm, ribosome, and genetic material, which is one circular DNA. But as you can see, the DNA material is spread on the cytoplasm. Bacteria are unicellular organisms, microscopic ranging from 5 microns to 0.5 microns, that are found in all habitats and different ecosystems. Some bacteria are helpful, means that they aid in digestion like lactobacillus found in yogurt, cheese or milk. Other bacteria are harmful, means that they cause diseases, affect other organisms and can cause mortality, like streptococcus that cause the common cold and inhabit in our mouth. Bacteria have different shapes and sizes. Some are spherical, called cocci. Others are rock shaped called bacilli. And others are curved like an S, called spirilla. Some bacteria can produce its energy from oxygen, so-called anaerobic bacteria, while others don't use oxygen to get their energy, called anaerobic bacteria. Some bacteria have flagellum to move and others have pili to stick to other bacteria or prey. Archae are ancient bacteria that once were called archaebacteria, but today they are considered a different kingdom with many biochemical differences with bacteria. They are smaller and simple like bacteria and have no nucleus. They come in very unusual shapes like flat or square. Archae are different from bacteria in their ribosomes but more similar to eukaryotic cells that we can think. Archaea normally lives in very harsh and extreme conditions, like hot springs, with temperatures above water boiling, or in salt lakes. They have even been found alive in outer space in astronauts' equipment. Although archaea can live in many different habitats, even in our column. Eukaryotic cells are bigger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. Most eukaryotic cells are microscopic, but some can be seen with our eyes as big as an ostrich egg. All eukaryotic cells have cell membrane, cytoplasm, many organelles and genetic material, but surrounded by a nucleus. The nucleus is the largest and most visible organelle of these cells, as you can see on my left. So, eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Which cells are eukaryotic? All animals and all plants are composed of eukaryotic cells. Also protista and fungi are eukaryotic organisms. All animals and plants are multicellular, but only some fungi are made of many cells. Protista and few fungi, like yeast, are single cells. Animal cells come in many different sizes and shapes but usually are round. These cells have many organelles, but some organelles different from other eukaryotic cells. Animal cells have a nucleus, where the DNA material is stored and a nucleolus. It also has small vacuoles for storage of water and waste. It has vesicles that contain digestive enzymes called lysosomes. It doesn't have a cell wall, so it enables these cells to develop a greater diversity of cells and functions like motility. Plant cells are a little bit smaller than animal cells and normally rectangular. All plant cells have a nucleus where DNA is stored and have a cell wall made of 
cellulose, which is a complex carbohydrate or sugar in form of fiber that gives it strength and hardness for protection and support. These cells have chloroplasts, an organelle that contains chlorophyll, a green pigment that can absorb the light when carbon dioxide and water combine chemically to produce glucose. Plant cells also contain one large vacuole where water can be stored. Plant cells have no motility. Well, let's make a summary to find out how much have you learned. Prokaryotic cells have no nucleus, while eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells have fewer organelles that are non-membrane covered like ribosomes, but eukaryotic cells have many membrane covered organelles. Usually, prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic cells. Some eukaryotic cells have cell walls, like prokaryotic cells, but made of different materials as you can read on the chart. Prokaryotic cells have one circular strand of DNA spread in the cytoplasm, but eukaryotic cells have many strands of linear DNA enclosed in a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells can survive in many environments, even in harsh conditions, where most eukaryotic cells are not able to survive, but have developed a greater variety of cell types. Yeah. Now, how are animals and plants different? Well, animal cells and plant cells have nucleus and cell membrane, but plants have cell walls. Animal cells have lysosomes that contain enzymes for digestion, but plant cells don't have. Plant cells have one large vacuole for water storage, and animal cells have few vacuoles for storage of water and waste. Some animal cells have flagella and cilia for motility, but plant cells have no motility. Animal cells and plant cells come in different shapes and sizes, although most are microscopic, but usually plant cells are rectangular and animal cells are round. Okay, this is the end of the video, and I hope you have enjoyed and had fun and learned a little bit more about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells.